it, you know, you want transparency from, from obviously the referees and everything. Does this really help Howard Webb three weeks afterwards saying, look... No. If he'd done it the day after or two days after... Right. Not three weeks. I, yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. Right. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Frank, would you be happy as a player? I would be even more upset. I you know it's nice for him to say the truth, but uh, it makes you even more angry because because you knew immediately knew that he w the guy was wrong, the ref was wrong, and uh, and he's, he might have been the only one with uh, with his friend in the in the, what I call the bar var. Uh, we didn't see uh, we didn't see anything. You know, it's 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 a bit like Burnley and Luton at the weekend. Yeah, if he comes out on Monday morning and says, look. We got it wrong, right. and it carries a little bit of weight. But if in three weeks' time he turns around and says that they, they got it wrong in the Burnley Luton game, well, it's going to be the same thing. You're just making yourself look bad. And, and we've seen it, of course, against Spurs, the offside, and, and this as well. You know, you look at the title race, and I'm sure there are examples of when Liverpool yeah. have got away with one. But it's intriguing, isn't it? Really? No, it's not intriguing. It's quite. It's it comes into question. Listen. As a referee, I think Howard Webb was one of the best. Yep. I really thought he was fantastic. But when he's doing this job, you know, when he's making mistakes like this, then you wonder, you know, we always talk about every, every occupation, the guy at the top, how he acts, it filters down. Now, his, his team are making mistakes. And he's making mistakes. So, at the end of the day, he carries the can. So, I mean, he's got to watch his back. As a player, you accept that the referee's going to make mistakes, right? That, that's just kind of part and parcel of being human, in, in all honesty. Um, you accept that, but you want some kind of accountability, or, or at the least, you want some show of improvement. If you're a Liverpool fan, and I think arguably more so than anybody else in the league right now, you see these mistakes, you see the gravity of them, the impact of them, and somehow you're always on the wrong end of it, and no real signs of improvement or accountability three weeks after, three weeks after the fact isn't accountability. Mm. That's not transparency to, to your, your first question. That's just an admission of, of a mistake that everybody knew. And, and it kind of feels like you're only addressing it because everybody's called, called you out on it. You know, take, take some responsibility for it and, and tell us how things will... If you can't tell us why the mistake was made, tell us how you're going to avoid it being, being made again. Go on, Gab. No, I, I just want to just stick up. I, I think it is accountability to, to admit your mistakes. Three weeks is, I, I agree, is ridiculous. But, um, and I wish somebody had asked them, hey, Howard, because you know what? After three weeks, it would have been easier just to say nothing, right? Um, because nobody's talking about this anymore. We've moved on. Yeah. Um, so... I, I, I want to give Howard Webb the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but surely that's the compared point. Compared to all those years before, when they made mistakes, I never, I never admitted to them. Gab, yeah, surely that's the point. That's Christmas. It's better to not say anything after three weeks, but he makes the decision to say something, which is the wrong decision. That's the whole point. The guy's just making wrong decisions. But I, but and he's putting he's... people in charge who are making wrong decisions. And that's what I'm talking about when right. I say he's got to watch his back. You know, at the end of the day, the buck stops with him. If, I, if I'm a coach and there's a, something going wrong in the field, and then three weeks later I go, oh, by the way, let's do this. They'll right. be like, hold on a second, why was taking three weeks? Yep. You know, there's got to be... Christmas, you, New Year, everyone has a little break. Of course. I mean, it's just... Every time he makes a decision, he's making the wrong one. That's what it feels like. Well, well, he's he's not like, he's he's not making decisions. It's not him uh, on the field, like you know, playing silly buggers no, in, 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 in the Spurs game. His decision or, to or, speak or whatever. up. It's the people. I'm talking about his decision to speak up, Gab. His decision right. to speak up no, no, should but... be on the Monday morning. It should be the it should be the first thing on Sunday morning right. when he goes in his office and says, "Right, we need to address this," and you do it Monday morning, and it's that sort of decision. No, no, I, 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 I completely Charles, right. I completely agree with you. But there's a there's a procedure, there's a report that comes through. It shouldn't take three weeks. I agree with you. If it's not Monday morning, it should be Tuesday night. You know, it doesn't take that long for the report to come through. It's not Howard Webb who decides if the referees uh, were right or wrong. There's other people, the people who observe the referees. But once the report is in, you say, hey, did this guy screw up? Yes. Well, let me go and come clean about it. Let me go and, and, and then tell you how I'm going to improve. He can't magic up 
a bunch of high-end referees. He can't train a bunch of high-end referees uh, in, 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 in double quick time. There are some good ones. There's a lot that are not very good. There's many who are young and inexperienced. Uh, that takes time, uh, given the neglect that, uh, of, of the whole refereeing system uh, in England. And that's what he's trying to fix.